Hello, my dear friend. Let me ask you this question. Do you want to have power? I'm not talking about political power. I'm, un, I'm not talking about, you know, occult powers. But I mean, do you really want to have power? True power. Power that transforms. Power that causes change. Not only in your life, but in the lives of people around you. The good news is that that power is available today, right now, free of charge. When you read the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the world. God says, when his spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power. Power to do what? People think that when you receive the power of the Holy Spirit, then you begin to speak in tongues. That is not the truth. People think that when you receive the Holy Spirit, then you receive the power of prosperity. That is not the truth. God has given his spirit unto us to grant us power for one thing. And the verse makes it categorically clear. It says, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power and you would become witnesses unto me. The power will cause you to be an ambassador of God. The power will cause you to be a witness of Christ. Who is a witness? One who has seen, who has witnessed. I'm using the same words, but one who has not just seen, but has experienced something and is able to describe it to somebody. Not just describe, but to sell it to somebody so much that other people will come to believe as well. The reason why our evangelistic efforts are weak is because we have nothing to say. We have not received power. The reason why we are not able to talk to others about the gospel, we don't even support the gospel activity, is because we have no power. When we receive the power of the Holy Spirit, we become witnesses. We tell others of what we have seen. We tell others about what we have experienced. We tell others about the power that has transformed us from sinners into saints. Today, Jesus says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be opened unto you. Ask for the Spirit. He says, even you, you and I, we are sinners. When our children ask us for bread, we don't give them stones. When they ask us for fish, we don't give them scorpions. How much more the Father, when we ask for the Holy Spirit, He will give it to you today. So, find a place. Maybe either later on today, tonight, or any time. Find a place. Confess your sins. And ask God to bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. And you will become, I mean, and you will become a witness of His glory. May you receive power. May you become a witness. May you transform others as you receive transformation of the Holy Spirit today and for the rest of your life. God bless you. Shalom.